Hi everyone, welcome. It's a snowy day outside. Hope you're staying warm wherever you are. Maybe you're someplace warm already, in which case staying cool might be more your, your goal. However, for today we're going to do a practice which develops strength and ease and we're going to practice breathing in the face of intensity because we all know people that can set off triggers for us either based on their facial expression or the tone of their voice or the words they're saying to us and it can be a really intense in your face experience but how do we deal with the stress that they are putting out into the world without taking it on ourselves you know when we're a baby we don't have much choice on how we react to the world but the older we get and the more we understand our own bodies our own physiology we can make a choice and say i know what this is this is stress stress has its role in my life but i don't need to take on the excess stress of other people that maybe don't have good stress management or stress coping skills so for today let's begin standing up feet about hips width distance which is about two fists uh, parallel with each other and come to stand and just feel your feet on the earth feel the breath moving throughout your body shoulders roll down your back and inhale both arms up Gaze up between your palms and exhale, bowing down, melting your heart towards your legs and the crown of your head towards the earth. Inhale up to a flat back and exhale, stepping back into plank pose. You can begin to make some micro movements here on your feet, moving back and forth. And then inhale, find some stability already feeling yourself heat up and in this pose I like to imagine that the floor which is so close is whatever intense stressor I might meet throughout my day and I like to challenge myself to breathe despite feeling the closeness of that intensity and from here let's Exhale with control, lowering ourselves down. And inhale up into baby cobra, keeping it flexible, keeping it playful. Knowing that too much stress can shut down our brain's ability to think creatively. And then let's tuck our toes and reach our hips high. Palms and soles pressing into the earth. Take a few breaths here to just come into your body, come into the present moment. And from here, inhale your right leg up. And exhale, step it through between your hands. Left heel rotates down, planting into the earth. If you're feeling unsteady, like you're on a tightrope, you can widen your stance so that you're more on train tracks. And where is your train going? Doesn't matter where it's coming from. Where, what is your intention for right now to influence your projection for the future? And from here, let's inhale our arms up and exhale, leaning over that front knee in our power lunge, feeling the power, really spicy position here in the, the right thigh, which is working towards parallel with the earth working towards a 90 degree angle in that front knee. Inhale as we lengthen from tail to crown, reaching through our fingertips, imagining just beams of energy coming from each fingertip. And exhale, bring our palms behind our back, reaching forward. You can interlace your fingers here and then bow. Bow into the space created to the right of your right knee 
crown of the head reaching towards the earth. And from here, option to come into a bind, reaching right arm underneath your right leg and left arm around your back. Breathing here, breathing into the part of your body that is crying out to you, <laughs> the place that needs oxygen the most. Option to release your arms and um, stick them out like airplane wings and maybe even wrap your hands around that front ankle. And once you feel like you've mastered the art of breathing into intensity, because life is so kind to always give us those opportunities to practice, we can come out of this by putting our hands towards the earth and rotating our right foot um, towards us, towards the, the wall there so that our feet are parallel and we're in this wide-legged forward fold. And that was so effective. I already feel warm enough <laughs> to uh, take off some of these winter garments. And then let your head fall heavy here. And shake it yes. Shake it no, shake it maybe. And wherever you are, maybe your, your head isn't reaching the ground today, but if it wants to, if it feels right, if it feels good and not forceful, you can do that. Maybe see the world from a different point of view with our at the top of our head on the ground. And from here, let us return to our hands to our hips and inhale our head up and then work our feet together, returning to the top of our mat. And from here, Big inhale, so we bring our hands up, and then exhale, diving forward, let it all go. Inhale up to a flat back, hands resting on our legs, and then exhale, let everything go again. Planting our palms into the earth, let's step our feet back into another plank pose. Give a moment of gratitude for the intensities of life for the things that challenge us, challenge us to be aware of how stress manifests in our bodies and to consciously release that through breathing, through mindfulness, to let us know where we need to do our work. And from here, let's exhale down and inhale into up dog, tops of our feet press into the earth. Gaze forward, feeling that rich stretch in the groin. And exhale, tuck your toes, lift your tail high. Into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here to reconnect with yourself. To enjoy this moment. Give gratitude to yourself for taking this time just for you today. And then inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step it through your hands. Rotate your back heel back um, onto the earth. Make any micro adjustments you need in your legs to build this strong foundation. And inhale both arms up. Gaze between your hands, lifting your heart high. And exhale, coming into power lunge. Torso leaning towards that front leg arms stretching forward reaching towards something that you want more of in your life maybe it's tranquility in the face of intensity and this pose can certainly create intensity inhale here and as you exhale bring your arms behind you feeling that opposing force from shoulder to fingertip 
Option to clasp your hands behind your back and bow forward, letting your head hang heavy. You can feel the stress between your shoulder blades squeeze out as you reach your, your hands away from your body. And relax your face, relax your neck. Option to bind here, reaching over with your right hand and under with your left hand. Shining your heart towards the sky. And breathe. See if you can relax something, anything. Even if it's just your mind, which is where all things begin. And option to stretch your arms out on either side of you, or even grasp your ankle. And from here, let's gently use our hands to support us as we rotate both feet parallel to each other. And once again, release into a wide-legged forward fold. And breathe here, feeling oxygen go to those tight crevices that it might not normally flood with such richness. And slowly Use your hands to support you as you walk your feet closer together and return to center. Micro bend in your knees as you ragdoll roll up, coming to stand, one vertebra at a time, head rolls up last, floating above your heart, shoulders roll down your back, palms shine forward. And inhale deeply once again. Bring your palms to heart center. And you can take a moment to sit comfortably and honor this space and this time. Honor the challenge that you bring to yourself, that you rise to meet. the situations that you go through in the name of serving others. Let's see if you can relax something else. Relax your jaw, relax your back, relax your belly. Relax your rib cage so they can expand and fully nourish you. And whatever intensity your day brings, may you remember to breathe, which can be hard to do in the face of intensity. And sometimes you might remember only after the intense situation has passed. However, with practice, it'll get easier and easier to remember and you can feel more and more relaxed regardless of what your day brings. So I wish you success on your journey. Namaste.